The first little piggy built his house of straw, which meant it had a teeny tiny carbon footprint because the straw was a waste product and because it locked in lots of CO2, like trees. All the farmyard animals laughed, saying it would get eaten by mice, go mouldy or burn down. Silly chickens, said first little piggy. Straw has zero nutrients, so as long as you keep it dry and compact, no mice will come near it. And because I've packed it so tightly, it will take over four hours to burn. Well, within building regulations. But it will take forever to build, said Hare. That was in the old days of straw, mud and lime render. Now I've invented some absolutely prefabulous timber boxes, easy to fill with straw and to stack up. So it will take no time at all. And with the prefab boxes, the house was so sturdy that the big, bad wolf huffed and puffed but couldn't blow it down. And it was cosy, warm and sustainable. So the other two little piggies squealed in delight and dashed off to look for some straw to build their new houses. The University of Nottingham had a farm, and on that farm they had some straw. Next door they also had a research campus which needed a new science lab. Just like the first little piggy, Make Architects found a clever way of using the straw to insulate the lab by putting it in prefabricated timber frames, bringing a traditional material up to speed with today's needs. They made the frames in the farm shed, then trailered them to the site next door, and when they put the walls up, they left out some bales to make the windows. The new science lab, known as the Gateway Building, is one of the largest prefabricated straw bale buildings in Europe. And since the straw was harvested on the university's farm just down the road, the building's carbon footprint is as low as can be. Wouldn't you like a straw bale building?